Hi there everyone, I'm JJ Ramberg. This month we are talking about branding exclusively for our open forum viewers. Coming up with what your brand is, is step number one, but then executing on that vision is what gets you on your way to getting a large base of loyal customers. Scott Gerfine is the co-founder of So Cozy Hair Care for Kids and he's here to give us some ideas on how to do just that. And you're the perfect person to talk to because you indeed have a loyal group of users and a very clear brand. So let's Let's talk about first how you even figure out what you do. Sure. I mean, uh, the, uh, the starting point, you know, because a brand's a living, breathing thing, is um, really identifying what your white space is. What's your opportunity in the market that you can occupy that no one else is occupying? Uh, so that's the first step. Figure out where you fit and where your opportunity is. Right. And what you did, you had the shampoo for kids, yep. but you realized there's shampoo for babies, there's shampoo for adults, but hey, there's this middle ground here and nobody's going after No them. one was speaking to mom with children. Right. You know, moms who have babies think about their babies differently than they think about their children, and no one was speaking to the sensibilities of the consumer. So in this case, we're talking about millennials. No one was marketing to them in the way that they want to be marketed to. No one was creating products with formulations that really met their sensibilities. It was just a really big void. All right, so then you found your brand, then yep. you have to figure out, okay, how do you talk about it? What is your voice? Right. And, so, and sometimes that comes from the founder, and sometimes it's something that evolves. It is, and it, you know, it kind of runs in sync with the white space that you identify in your target base, right? So you have to speak to your target market in a way that is authentic, that they can connect with, um, and that reflects the ethos of the brand. And that is then something that's translated across all your touch points. So your copy on your website, your copy on your packaging, what you might use, for example, if you have a product on shelf like we do, on a shelf talk or, or, or a point of sale material. Carrying that messaging and that voice all the way through every step of the way and everything you do. Every step. And by the everything way, with, in hiring also, and that gets to this next point, which is be authentic. We say this all of the time, but it yeah. really is, it's the key. People it, want to believe you. It's so interesting. It's, it's the key word of the day, kind of like millennial is the key word of the day. Um, people can see right through uh, a sales pitch, something that's just marketing speak. So you really, it's got to come from the heart. Uh, there's got to be some more meaning behind uh, what it is that you're doing or you're saying beyond just wanting to sell it and market a product. Right, right. People can get products anywhere. That's right. And that allows you to, your next point, connect with someone. That's it. That's it. So if you kind of deliver on these things, if you're authentic, if you've got the right message, if you've got the right opportunity and the right target base, then really it's about making that connection. And that connection starts with the first touch point. And that might be through an email, that might be through an advertisement, that might be through PR. And then the connection points run all the way through to when they walk into the store, when they interact with the product, when they take it home, when they actually use it. So connecting every step of the way through. And the first thing you do doesn't have to be the last thing you do. You, you may get it wrong. You may get it <laughs> wrong. And that's where I'd say the last tip is test and refine. You know, keep at it, keep hacking away at, uh, you know, whether it's your messaging or your offer, or your pricing or your creative, just test, test, test and refine. Granted, it's gonna be a little bit different based on where you're selling or where you're marketing, but you gotta constantly be pushing the needle on uh, your tactics and uh, your strategies and uh, just constantly measure that against your metrics. And measure it, right? Because you can't fix what you don't measure. That's it. All right, great. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you. Good to see you. You too.